Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Cam Room 5. In today's video, we are going to be doing some organic synthesis practice. For that, we will need a strong and sound understanding of all the organic chemistry concepts and especially the reagents and the conditions for various chemical reactions. Let's begin this question. It says, it says food additives or substances, blah, 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 blah unwatered information. Let's begin to the question directly because the question seems really straightforward. They have this compound in the beginning and they are making multiple arrows and multiple options to make products. Let's begin with our like option A. You can notice that in the beginning my compound has some important functional groups. This is where you should keep your focus on. I am numbering the carbon atoms but not numbering to name them. I don't want to name these compounds. They are not asking for the name. But still number it so you can notice where you should focus on and where the change will be made. So I am numbering this carbon as carbon 1, this carbon as 2, this carbon as 3 and this carbon as 4. Don't forget to notice that this carbon in the beginning has a carboxylic group like this on the left side. Then you can see there's a CH2, which is carbon number two in my case. Then you can see there's a CHOH. And then you can see there's another carboxylic acid group like this. So carbon number one, two, three, four. Now let's begin with option A. When they heat it with methanol, this is methanol. And there's an acid as a catalyst here, as a condition here. Don't forget to notice that carboxylic acids and ethanol or methanol or any alcohol would react to make an ester. So here you can expect esterification. How do you make the ester? You will keep the entire compound same without the OH part of the acid. So I will draw exactly everything, this part, this part, these parts and this without the OH because the OH part would be gone to make carboxylic acid. So what I'll do is I'll draw the first initial part like this. CHOH also here. Then C double bonded oxygen which is the carbonyl. This is there. Since you're working with methanol, methanol would be attached here with the oxygen like this and also on the other side because there are two carboxylic acids. So there should be two ester groups. Don't forget to notice that the oxygen would be connected with the carbon like this. And obviously the CH3 comes from the methanol. So here we get an ester which has two ester groups. Now we are moving to option B. You can notice that in option B they are using ethanoic acid as a reagent and obviously the condition is hydrogen ions. If you notice the initial structure, you had OH group. Let me draw the structure again. Our structure looked something like this. It had OH and there was another carboxylic acid group here. This was carbon one, two, three, four. Now since a carboxylic acid is there, you can expect esterification again. From the carboxylic acid portion, the H would be gone or the OH, whichever portion, and from the alcohol, the other portion would be gone. So let me remove this H from here. I will remove this H from here. You can see I've, the H is gone. And from the carboxylic acid, you can expect a carbon with carbonyl and CH3 to be coming in because the OH from carboxylic acid would be gone. So this portion comes from the carboxylic acid and this portion is my initial structure which was already there. This is another acid group made here. Let's move on. Here we are using concentrated sulfuric acid and we know that concentrated sulfuric acid does a reaction known as elimination or you could call it dehydration because in dehydration an alcoholic portion removes the OH and H. So notice on the initial structure, you had OH on carbon number three, right? So what happens is the OH would be gone and also H from nearby. Let me draw it again. 
this is my initial structure, CHOH, and this is a carboxylic acid from the right side. The OH from this carbon would be gone and H from nearby. So as a result, the left side of the structure remains exactly the same. The right side of the structure remains exactly the same. But in the middle, my second carbon loses the H, so it's not CH2 anymore, it's only CH. And my third carbon removes the OH. So now it becomes like this. What happens in the middle? You receive a double bond. So you will get a double bond after dehydration. It is basically an alkene functional group. So, so far we are done with three portions. Let me make my entire structure over here. Let me put it over here. And this goes here, yeah. Moving on. Now they are making option D here. You have to have the correct option C, otherwise you can't make option D. Now in option D, they want hot concentrated manganate seven. If you remember, that is a strong oxidation reaction. What happens is that the carbon-carbon bond splits. So in your mind, you need to focus that this portion and this portion would be separated. So remember that the bond is separated, the carboxylic acid on the left remains the same, and what about this when the bond is broken down like this, the CH is converted into another carboxylic acid. So you will receive this molecule. This is your carbon number one, this is carbon number two, you can see that. What happens to the other portion of the structure? It does exactly the same thing. You will receive a carboxylic acid on the right side, which was already there. This is here. And what about the left? So you will receive another carboxylic acid like this. This is your carbon number three. This is your carbon number four. These two molecules are separated. Two moles of same product, because you can see they are both the same product. And this is your dicarboxylic acid, ethane dioic acid. Let's go towards the right side. In order to make option B, you can see, in option, in option E rather, you can see that steam and phosphoric acid are you added. So we call it addition of steam. Addition of steam and another word you use is hydration. It's the opposite of dehydration. What happens is the overall structure remains the same, C, H, the double bond should be gone, and then another carboxylic acid on the right side. From the steam, the OH will go on one side and the H will go on the other side. So you can expect OH on one side and you can expect H on the other side. So instead of writing another H, I can make it H2. I can make it H2. Now this is your molecule prepared. In order to make option F, they are using cold dilute manganate. That is also oxidation. But here what happens is that two OH groups are added. Two OH groups are added. So you will make the overall similar structure like this. CH, the double bond should be gone. And then another carboxylic acid on the right side. You will add one OH on this carbon and another OH on this carbon. So that is how your structure is made. So in today's video, we have done a very small, like very short practice of organic synthesis, where we started from the main structure and we made multiple products out of it. If you do it right, you'll get six out of six. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks.